Welcome to Miss Trendy Treats. I'm Missy and today I am showing you how I made the Sarah Sanderson pop figure cake from the movie Hocus Pocus. This cake is the second of three cakes. The first being this Winifred Sanderson pop figure cake with her potion bottle and her broom. I will leave a link to that full tutorial down in the description box for you guys if you would like to check it out. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but we have a pug, a little doggy. His name is Binks. We named him after Binks the black cat, which is obviously odd because he's not a black cat. But we love the movie so much that we had to name one of our animals after... <laughs> Okay, I'm boring him. Let's get started on the cake, shall we? I began by cutting Sarah out of the template I created and then drew around the outside of the template onto parchment paper. I will leave a link to this template down in the description box. I then cut that out and put it aside. I shaved the caramelization off from my 9 by 13 inch cake along the top and sides and then laid my template on top and began cutting around it. You can save the excess and make little cake pops or little snacks with it. Next, I removed Sarah's head from the template and then removed her hair. I placed the hair template on top and cut along the lower half to mark where the body starts and stops. I cut down about an inch and removed the excess, making sure everything was nice and level. Next, I carved out her hairline, going down about half an inch all the way around, and then removed the center. To give it a rounded pop figure look, I shaved off the edges of the cake all the way around. To add depth to her hair, I sort of carved little indents along the sides. I removed the darker areas of her hair and then trimmed it down until I got to about a quarter inch to the cake board. I was initially going to cover those shallow pieces with a darker yellow for her hair, but then I realized the cape would cover it later, so you can completely omit this part if you'd like and cut that all the way off. I covered my cake with a quick crumb coat and put it in the fridge to chill for about an hour. Next, I rolled out some white fondant, draped it over the chilled cake, and smoothed it out with my hands and various tools. I will link those down in the description box if you are looking to use these as well. After trimming off the excess, I applied some water to the outside edge, excluding her face, and smoothed some yellow fondant on top of those areas and then removed the center to expose her face. To see how I did that, I show you on the video with Winifred. I smoothed out the transition between the two colors and then dried lines and swirls through her hair with my veining tool. I used my cutout as a guide for which direction the hairs were falling. Next, I covered her body with purple fondant and cut off just around the neck and left the rest to give her cape a flowy dimensional appearance. I removed the cape from the template and placed the remainder on some red fondant and cut around it. I placed that in the center of the cake with a little bit of water, and then I removed her armhole and continued adding the next layer of her cake, slightly overlapping the edges of her red dress. I bunched it up along the edges for that flowy look and then removed the excess. For her bodice, I cut it out of pink fondant and removed a small rectangular piece to add some white to the upper half. I placed that just under her head and then added two long triangles for her collar. For the dress details, I added two strips of purple fondant and then two more smaller strips of yellow fondant along the sides of her dress. I wanted to enhance her arms slightly, so I rolled some more of my red fondant and formed them to the size of my template. I pressed them into place and then went to work on her hands. Starting off with a ball of white fondant, I dragged lines into one side, tapered the side, and then carefully molded two fingers on either side. For the hand holding her spider, I dried lines for her fingers and then used my ball tool to create a shallow dip, then attached both to her arms with water. I added a black ball for the body of the spider and black snaked out pieces for the spider legs. Finally, to make her eyes, I placed the template on her face and added two black circles in the eye cutouts. For how I made these eyes, you can check out my Winnie tutorial as, as all three ladies' eyes were created the same. I added a small pyramid style nose in between her eyes and a little black mole. I used brown fondant for her eyebrows and our Sarah Sanderson cake is complete. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out how I made Winnie Sanderson as well as she came out just as cute. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't know when I post a new video. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.